Hello and welcome to our channel. More than 10 years after the creation of Bitcoin and blockchain protocols, networks still struggle with the scaling dilemma that keeps them from growing to global levels while also being able to achieve stable purchasing power and value. Enter the Reserve Protocol and its team who are looking to change all that by creating an accessible and trusted stablecoin that can scale to global usage. Learn more about the Reserve Protocol in our video. So, watch. The Reserve Right Protocol is a decentralized cryptocurrency platform designed to stabilize cryptocurrencies' high volatility. It aims to create a balanced value of its stablecoin RSV pegged to the US dollar. The protocol was developed and hosted on the Ethereum blockchain. The protocol provides a replacement for centralized fiat and provides a secure way to stabilize money. It requires no permission and allows multiple fiat networks to operate autonomously. Multiple digital assets amplify stablecoins. It aims to provide a seamless transition for users in the blockchain. Reserve rights aim to provide stable funding and rely banking application DeFi, which is not affected by the government. The protocol aims to provide cross-block usage of its token through blockchains that support smart contracts in the long run. The reason is that the high volatility chain of cryptocurrencies has been a constant concern for the cryptocurrency market. Reserve rights aims to minimize this because high volatility limits the growth of any cryptocurrency market. The main problem RSR is trying to solve is volatility. Cryptocurrency volatility has affected the expansion of the crypto market as a medium of exchange. Sellers are afraid to accept cryptocurrency for fear of losing profits due to market downturns. The reserve protocol uses the cryptocurrency market, a stable medium of exchange, a means of savings, and a standard for various payments. New users who are unfamiliar with a decentralized economy may find it difficult to join. They currently need a third-party exchange before they can access to the marketplace. Reserve Protocol has incorporated a fiat on-off ramp into its core protocol. This mechanism allowed new users to log in withdraw third-party dApps. However, the next major challenge that Reserve Protocol has impacted is serving the unbanked. The team wants to address the inability of local banking institutions to reach people with limited access to essential financial services. They want to provide these people with a robust but reliable merchant ecosystem, especially in developing countries. Reserve Protocol was created in May 2019 by a team of high-profile professionals. The co-founders are Navin Freeman. Navin also co-founded Paradigm Academy. MetaMed Research Inc. and RiotBees.com. Matt Alder is a former engineer at Google, IBM, and QC. He currently oversees the architectural implementation of the protocol as chief technology officer. The Reserve Protocol is headquartered in Oakland, California, USA, and the development team consists of more than 20 people. The initial exchange offering financing in the protocol was held on May 22, 2019, on the Huobi Exchange. At the end of IEO, the protocol team received $3 million and 3 million tokens were distributed. The initial development of backup tokens is being done in Ethereum. Still, there are plans to eventually create a bridge that will provide full interoperability that will helpfully decentralize the network. Not only does this stablecoin created by the Reserve Protocol team need to be decentralized, but it also needs to be trusted, but it also needs to be strong economically and able to withstand the attacks. Stages in which the RSR protocol was created to work. The semi-centralized step was to happen in 2019. The goal was to have tokens centralized, secured by US dollars and collateralized. In short, the RSV of stablecoin was to be packed to the US dollar. This phase was very similar to use. A real US dollar value backed each of the RSV tokens provided. However, the development team put this phase on hold for a second phase, semi-decentralized. In this phase, the protocol begins integrating support of other assets to provide RSV tokens. And as more assets are tied to RSV tokens, it begins to track the value of the US dollar. 
The binding is done algorithmically and so no longer backed by US dollars. When RSV reaches this phase, it becomes an independent currency. Its value is no longer tied to the fiat US dollars, so the dollar does not affect it. The Reserve Rights Development Team decided to use a dual token to achieve their goals. These double tokens are reserved for unique and proprietary tickets called RSR and RSV. They are the only stable coin on the network and they work together to provide reserve protocol users with an efficient and secure UX. RSR is the second market in the ecosystem of reserve rights. It is a primary tool for maintaining the RSV value, that means ensuring its stability. It serves as the primary token for management in the reserve network and guarantees the assurance and binding of RSV. It performs the following essential functions in the backup network. RSV's target price is $1. RSR is a protocol service token and gives holders a voice in management. RSR, unlike the RSV stablecoin token, is unstable and has been made available to investors. The proceeds are used to fund a reserve project. There is a maximum supply of 1 billion RSR coins and approximately 13.159 billion RSR coins are in circulation. The RSR token also capitalizes on the protocol when RSV depreciates and cannot fully support the existing RSV token. Because of this, RSR token circulation decreases every time RSV supply increases. This is because only RSR holders can take advantage of the buying and selling opportunities provided by the system. The second token is in the reserve right network. It is a stable coin that functions as a global currency without borders. This means that anyone in all parts of the world can make payments, store wealth, and receive money with this RSV, just like Facebook died. RSV is among the stable cryptocurrencies that can be stored or spent like US dollars and other similarly sound fiat money. The token was launched in 2019 and is supported by tokenized assets such as Paxos Standard, TrueUSD, and USD Coin. The Reserve Bank team plan to add more assets such as commodities, securities, and other currencies to diversify support. Initially, one RSV is equal to one USD. The maturity protocol will become even more decentralized as the value of RSV will be realized from the reserved collateral in the reserve vault. Thus, the RSV serves three primary functions. RSV allows developing countries to have a more robust and reliable trading ecosystem. It increases the cheap transfer of funds between countries. RSV helps curb hyperinflation by serving savings. It stores the capital gains of all assets used to secure the RSV token. The reserve stable coin vault is fully collateralized. This collateral is stored in the vault. The vault can be called a smart contract to keep and pull the assets securing the RSV token. Stable coins with reserve rights are backed by a basket of cryptocurrency managed by smart contracts. This is unlike others in the same category. They are supported by US dollars set aside in a bank account controlled by the issuers of the stable coin or a trusted custodian. Another unique feature of the reservation right protocol is that its RSR token is minted and sold. The RSV stable token is at any time reduced compared to its bag to US dollar. Funds from the sale of RSR tokens are returned to the RSV collateral pool to replenish. But when the value of RSV exceeds $1, the Axis collateral is used to reduce the supply of RSV by buying and burning RSV in the secondary market. The asset backed initially consists of stable Ethereum coins such as a true USD, Paxos, and USD coin, but the reverse team plans to move to a backet that will include securities, commodities, fiat currencies and even more complex asset types such as derivatives and synthetic commodities. RSR is a well-known token that currently provides excellent liquidity. It can be bought and sold on many well-established cryptocurrency exchanges. They include Binance Exchange, Gate.io and others. 
A hardware wallet is best recommended option for storing RSR. It is suitable for those who plan to invest in the token or hold it long. A hardware wallet stores cryptocurrency offline, which is called a cold storage. This makes it difficult for online threats to access HAL tokens. Nevertheless, wallets that support backup rights such as Ledger Nano X or Ledger Nano S should be a better option. Thank you a lot for watching this video. Stay tuned for more videos.